Okay, here we go. This one's leaning downhill and this way. So I'm just gonna follow it with the lean. Should be an easy one. Of course, there's a bit of flare. So my dogs will want to dog in. The handlebars will hit the flare, of course. So I'm gonna have to freehand it. Might be able to dog in a little bit, but should be an easy one. Got it in the stump. <laughs> Check that out. Oh yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. <clears throat> There's a bit of wedging. I put a, not a huge undercut, but I figured the lean would take it. This wasn't quite enough. Well, that's why I got the power wedge. Makes wedging so much easier. You can only get them at woodboss.ca.
Oh, that was easy. Cut sliding that perfectly. So, it's not a very big undercut for the size of the tree. But uh, if you go like this, you go straight up. You know, there's quite a bit of weight in that side, so I think the lean will take it. And I'm angling it down a little bit. So I want to get it below this stump right here. I don't want to smash it on the stump, maybe down there. I don't want to throw it too high, because it'll be really hard to, because the tree's leaning down the hill. And I got the snag here. I don't want to brush the snag. So I get that snag after I get this tree down. Because that snag's leaning right towards this tree here. So should be an easy one. Here's another angle of it. Oh, it's got a couple good school arms on there. And see there's straight up and down. So it's got a good lean downhill. Look at all the school arms. <laughs> You got two on the left and a big one on the right, right there. And then the original top is dead. See that? And the school mom on the right is now taller than the original top. We call that uh, candelabra top. All those school moms out there. Okay, and there's that stump. I'm gonna throw it below. <clears throat> I didn't really put too much effort into my aim but I don't think it'll be too bad I think it'll go where I want it okay here we go I think I can get a log out of the bat. That was easy. Easy peasy, man. 
So it's nice when you got a lean in your favor. Makes everything a lot easier. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, yeah, bang on. And then the butt slid down. Okay, well. Got a bit of a breeze now. This whole morning it was, it was very calm, so it was just cooking. Sutton. So that cool breeze coming up from the ocean now. It feels nice. It feels so nice. <laughs> yeah. You see, even see a breeze on the water down there. Get a bit more wood there in the ocean now. Maybe we're going full tilt with the logging trucks. Big off-road um, logging road trucks. The ones, the real big ones, I take up the entire road. And then my partner, uh, he has a big low point. We're working on it for most of the day. Low point way over there. He had a big heavy leaning uphill snag. He had to open up for us. He had a big project over there. It's down now. But he still has a low point. You can see him. Where is he? I seen him a second ago. There he is. I don't know where he's going, but some thick bush over there. He got a bunch of uh, boomsticks right over there. There's a boomstick. I haven't filmed much today. Been a lot of small stuff. The bush is so thick here that sometimes it's. Oh, I'll show you. There's the big chopper going in to probably fuel up. Staging is down by the ocean by camp there, so he's probably just going back to fuel up. It's a good time on my part. You bet I couldn't zoom in farther. Oh, come on, stay steady. Just adjust my hand here. Yeah, anyway. See that breeze now? Yeah. Oh, I feel so nice. The sun's coming out. Okay, back to work. I'm gonna take that snag out. Okay, so that's my next thing I'm gonna get. But first, there's some blow down the high side, right? See the blow down right there? One there, another one right there. So there's two trees that are connected at the at the root wad. They've blown over. So I'm gonna buck the top one. And then this thing here. Come on, don't focus on my finger. This one right here, I'll buck that down so it's out of the way and then I can safely stand. If I can buck this thing down and have it drop on the high side, then I can stand there. And then I can quickly run across this blow down that I bucked, the upper one as escape route. Fall that one. And then this one's leaning uphill, but also sideways. So if I can swing this little hemlock, if I can swing it down, down right on top of there, get that out of the way. And then I'm probably gonna spend the rest of the day because over there is a whole new project. I got to drop down below this blow down. It's really gnarly over there. But I want to, I got a real thin strip and my fuel's that way. So if I work that way, I'll be close to my fuel and then I can get this whole strip right here. Probably right up to here. I can get all this from here over, get all this done today. And then have a nice trail for the next guy because I'm packing out today. And then, uh, yeah, that'll work out quite well, I think. So that's what we'll do.
easy you just got to be prepared okay so I don't have anything interesting to film for the rest of the day you can see I got a bunch of small stuff a oh, bunch of small stuff I might get to this one by the end of the day we'll see it's the biggest one in this area right here um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna point over there you can't really tell who it is I'm not gonna say privacy but you can at least see his trees go down and you get a different vantage point than me filming all the time and you're close to the tree this time which is rare for me to get a, a video shot of my partner from you know across the draw even that's not very common so it might be interesting to film we'll see but i'll just keep it pointed that way i'll zoom in you'll just see a little red orangey red high-vis figure in the distance. <laughs> 